Yes, it's Filaraka, and welcome to Greek in the City. In today's video, we will be doing an Ask Chris segment. That's basically where you guys have asked me for advice on the Greek in the City Facebook page. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Greek in the City, and comment in the section below. Adepame! So let's just jump right into this. Jan Shalowski asks, what would you advise teenagers not to do if they wanted to start a career as a pop star? Okay, so cool. I'll tell you not to do what I did. Don't just go to a recording studio and record everything that you want to record. Don't waste money on a flock of backup dancers when you don't have a means to recuperate that money. Don't copy other famous pop stars and the things that they do because being original is really important and don't post really promiscuous videos on YouTube it's just not worth it they get flagged and taken down Dimitris Lianos asks how to get people to think that you are attractive okay so download the app Facetune okay on this app you can make yourself skinnier you can fix your skin you can make your teeth whiter it's really really great um, as far as meeting someone in person and making them think you're attractive, I have absolutely no idea because I have the same problem there. Christopher Gustaf, how to approach someone without being creepy. Okay, cool. So, let's say you are walking in the street, right, and you see someone right in front of you that is sexy as hell, and you want to make some sort of an impression on them, right? Do not trail behind them because that is creepy, right? So if they're like right here and you are walking behind them, might be a little creepy if you're like creeping and looking at them. Here's what to do. Walk even a foot or two ahead of them. So this way your body isn't so eager to meet them, right? You're kind of like on your way to somewhere and something is more important than them. So it's not as creepy. And then once they are like almost right behind you, you can turn back like this. And then that is not as intimidating for them, right? Because they have control of that situation. So that is one way where you could approach someone and not be too creepy. Michael Marinakis asks how to make a professional studio how to build a studio like yours. Okay, cool, so you guys want a cool studio like mine and it's super easy and not that expensive, go on Amazon.com and type in filming lights and green screens and you'll be able to find box lights, some umbrella lights. I have three box lights, I have two umbrella lights and I have a green screen. You can get a stand for your green screen. You obviously need a camera and a microphone for your camera. And I feel like if you have that, you have great lighting, you have a good, a decent camera, then you could get some really good quality content. Gunilo! What is up, buddy? You asked me for advice? I've been waiting to give you advice on a lot of things, so let's go into this. Gunilo is an awesome YouTuber from Greece who is coming to visit me this week. He's coming on Friday, so that's exciting. And Gonilo asks, people make fun of me because I can't speak good English in my videos. How can I deal with this? Gonilo, you need Rosetta Stone, okay? Rosetta Stone is one of the biggest language um, educators in the world. Get yourself a sponsorship from them because they have a lot of money and then make videos for Rosetta Stone learning English and then you will one get a whole new audience of people to watch your videos and then two you will look so awesome learning English with your Greek followers I love this I think you can make a good amount of money on this and God gives you blessings and this my friend is a blessing you may sound like an idiot when you try to speak English take advantage of it make some money and make some awesome videos you're welcome alright no doubt that is all the advice I have for you today I hope you enjoyed my little video please don't forget to comment Subscribe to Greek in the City and like this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Sarapo, that means I love you in Greek. Bye! This is Souvlaki, my Yeah! Gonilo!